right? So there is four extra embryonic membranes: amnion, chorion, allantois, and yolk sac. Amnion embryo is immediately surrounded by the membrane is called amnion, and chorion that is outermost membrane of uh, fetus or embryo, and uh, allantois there is. What is the function of allantois? So, amnion and chorion functions are uh, protection for protection to the embryo and developing fetus. Uh, allantois, what is the function of allantois? Collection of liquid waste from the embryo and yolk sac providing nourishment uh, to the embryo in earlier days of pregnancy before formation of placenta, right? So, regarding this, uh, in NCRT diagram given, reference diagram, okay, so this diagram. So, the human fetus within the uterus. So, the human fetus within the uterus, right? So, uh, there is some of the labeling given here in NCRT. So, extra labeling I had mentioned here. So, let us see here. So, this is, so this is what? This is the developing embryo or fetus and the fetus which is connected with uh, placenta we discussed the fetus which is connected with the placenta is called umbilical cord umbilical cord with its vessels so developing fetus connect with the placenta that is umbilical cord so this is placenta so this one is placenta so interdigitated chorionic villi with uterine tissue that is placenta right so this is placenta and next one and embryo and yolk sac given yolk sac is one of the fetal membrane uh, next this is the cavity of uterus given here cavity of the uterus and plug of mucus in cervix so there is a plug jelly like plug like structure is presented so it is close the cervix because there is fluid secretion which is not takes place at the time of the pregnancy and after completion of pregnancy there is fluid secretion is takes place to the vagina of the females and before parturition right and so here so the embryo immediately surrounded by the membrane is called is called what is called amnion layer so this is amniotic fluid so amniotic presence of amniotic fluid uh, it provides it provides uh, what it provides uh, there is So, it provides uh, so amniotic fluid provides a protection to the embryo right and this membrane is chorion outermost layer is chorion and this is stock like structure is called allantois and, uh, and this one is yolk sac providing uh, uh, nourishment to the embryo at that uh, stages of earlier stages of the embryo right okay this is the diagram NCRT diagram just to go through the labeling and uh, i'll show another diagram this one so this is so this is the real peak of uh, at the, after the parturition uh, the newborn baby with uh, umbilical cord this is the umbilical cord and this is the placenta so you can observe here the placenta consists with there is tree like structures so those are all what those are all chorionic villi so this is umbilical cord uh, connected the baby connected with the umbilical cord and there is a placenta and placenta consists with chorionic villi at the time of parturition uh, so first uh, baby delivery and uh, umbilical cord along with placenta delivery also takes place after this clear all of you right okay so we are going to the next topic so earlier we discussed regarding about organogenesis so what is meant by organogenesis formation of uh, organs from where after completion of gastrulation after the formation of ectoderm uh, endoderm and mesoderm primary germ layers the primary from the primary germ layers the body tissues and organ formation is takes place is called organogenesis right so here organogenesis is takes place during which time during embryonic development time the developing of embryonic uh, period is called the developing of embryonic period is called what is called gestation so how much gestation period in the humans the gestation period in the humans is nine months 
द ह्यूमन प्रेगनेंसी लास्ट फॉर नाइन मंथ्स और टू एटी डेज और फोर्टी वीक्स सो ज्यूरिंग टू एटी डेज और फोर्टी वीक्स और नाइन मंथ्स देर इज एम्ब्रियनिक डेवलपमेंट द कंप्लीट एम्ब्रियनिक डेवलपिंग डेवलपमेंट इज टेक्स प्लेस सो ज्यूरिंग एम्ब्रियनिक डेवलपमेंट वॉट टाइप ऑफ द चेंजेस or or takes place in the region of embryo and fetus so here there is 9 month of pregnancy is 9 months of pregnancy the 9 months of pregnancy completely divided into three trimester three trimesters so first second third month is called first trimester four five sixth month is considered as second trimester 7 8 9 months are called third trimester so complete 9 months is divided into how many trimesters three trimesters what are they first to third first trimester 4 to 6 second trimester 7 to 9 third trimester so during this time what type of the changes are takes place in the region of embryo so first week first week of the embryo so first week what happens uh, at the first week the fertilization is takes place before after fertilization there is implantation is takes place within the week only first seven days right so second week formation of primary germ layers gastrulation occurs formation of primary germ layers formation of uh, ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm so third week beginning of brain and uh, spinal cord there is a formation of brain and spinal cord beginning not completely developed right and next one so neural cord development is takes place in the third week and fourth week heart blood vessels umbilical cord formation is takes place so first umbilical cord is formed after that there is formation of a placenta so heart uh, blood vessels umbilical cord and uh, after completion of fourth week means how many days there is one month so 30 days after completion of 30 days one month the first sign of growing fetus noticed by the listening to the heart sound by the stethoscope so when heart formation is takes place so heart form after the completion of first month you can observe you can hear the sound of a a uh, heart beat sound by the stethoscope so who will observe you or me no by the doctors right so the first sign of uh, growing fetus noticed by the listening to the heart sound by the stethoscope when after completion of first month of first trimester or uh, after completion of uh, fourth week right and fifth week fifth week developing of brain the developing of brain is takes place in the, uh, by the completion of uh, fifth week and during the sixth and seventh week what type of the changes are takes place all major internal organs developing is takes place during sixth and seventh week and completion of second month eighth week second month means 4 uh, 4 plus 4 eight weeks the formation of limbs and digits so completion of uh, first month there is heart sound can be heard by the stethoscope and after completion of a uh, eighth week after completion of a uh, second month there is what formation of limbs and digits is takes place and uh, week 12 so fully formed fetus is takes place with all organs muscles bones external genital organs so fully formed fetus with all organs muscles bones external genital organs at when it is takes place at the third month at the end of uh, at the end of third month that is week 12 so this is first trimester so first week second week third week fourth fifth six to seven and week 12 at the end of third month at the end of first trimester the complete fetus formation developing the complete fully formed fetus is takes place with all organs muscles bones and external genital organs sex organs formation also takes place at the end of third month right so third month at the end of first trimester or third month and at the in the second trimester second trimester means what 4 to 6 4 uh, to 6 months 